a very good day to everyone okay uh welcome back to my channel okay this is uh unit 9 entitled getting away so i'm going to start again with our reading skill okay so stay tuned everyone. Okay, as usual, this is our learning objective for today's lesson. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to show your understanding of specific details and information by underlining the keywords. Next. You will be able to recognize the opinions of the writers in activity 4 by underlining the keywords in them and also use prints such as your dictionaries or digital resources to check the meaning of words in activity 5 from page one, sorry, 111 and activities 2 until Activities 4, page 112. So, hopefully, you could underline the keywords in the 10 questions there and also underline similar keywords from the question and provide your answers with justification. Alright, next is okay this is the front page of unit 9 getting away okay from the picture we can see a swing there under a palm tree on a beautiful beach on a tropical island so how does the title connect to the picture okay the title is getting away and the place in the picture is somewhere people go to get away and relax themselves. Okay, next. Okay, read the instruction of activity 1 on page 109. So the question is, have you traveled abroad before? Which countries have you visited and which countries would you like to visit? So by looking at those pictures, can you guess what cities or countries are shown in two pictures? Okay, alright. On the left hand side is actually a place uh, taken in Amsterdam in Holland. Meanwhile, on your right hand side is actually uh, a place located in Lisbon, which is in Portugal. Next question. Alright, these are the top 10 countries visited by UK residents in a recent years. So, which three do you think have been the most popular? So, for question number two, you need to decide which three countries are the most popular destinations for UK residents. We have France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain. Turkey and USA. Okay. Uh, the fact that I am going to share uh, is taken from the Office for National Statistics 2012. Okay. Uh, in 2012, those most popular countries visited by UK residents are Spain, France, and island okay uh, 
but I am not sure the current uh, situation which are the most popular countries among the UK residents. So some of the interesting facts about popular travel destination of the 50 most visited tourist attraction in the world in the world nine are actually in the USA. Okay. This is due to the fact that the US population is over 300 million and many Americans prefer to travel uh, within the USA rather than internationally. So what about the recent years? Can you share with me what are those top three countries? All right, now I'm going to share with you, okay, a short video. All right, so this short video is all about Barcelona in Spain. Okay, as you can see the question down there in your textbook. What is La Rambla? Whose statue is there? So this from the picture from the video, I would like you to identify to or to locate the information for these two questions. So let's watch the video together. Benvenido and welcome to Barcelona, the biggest, baddest destination that should be on every person's bucket list. If it's not, I'm going to show you why it should be. I'm Brian Cox, I'll be showing you around, so come on, let's get started. Barcelona is a city with limitless possibilities, a super destination if you will. You could spend a lifetime here trying to visit all the things to see and do. So on this tour, I will be taking you to some of my favorite places. First, let's go to Park Well to get a breathtaking view of the entire city. From here, you can see almost everything. The park was dedicated to the famous architect that built the Sagrada Familia. This building here, which is actually a church, just not like any church I've ever seen before. Now we'll head back to the center to visit the most popular street in Barcelona, La Rambla. Every tourist should walk down this famous street at least once. In the middle, you will find La Bocaria, the most popular market where you can buy all kinds of fruits, vegetables, meats, seafoods, and much, much more. Are you hungry yet? Then we should continue walking along La Rambla and stop at a cafe in Plaza Real and order the Menu del Dia or the Menu of the Day. Lunch is the major meal in Spain and eating out for lunch is a must. Thursday is Paella Day and is including in most Menu del Dias. Now that we've had a bite to eat, we should continue along La Rambla. As you get to the bottom of La Rambla, you will notice a statue of Christopher Columbus pointing to the New World. Did you know that many locals believe that Christopher Columbus is Spanish, not Italian? Now let's go to one of my favorite places, Barceloneta. This beach is just a short walk from the city center and is jam-packed in summer, where half of Europe comes to work on their tan. Warning, parts of the beach are clothing optional. To finish our tour, we'll go to Parque de la Ciudadela. This is a very popular place for people to come socialize with friends, relax, and possibly take a siesta. Okay, all right. The, the, the video is actually a quick tour of the city. Okay, you can see the video is a quick tour of the city. There are many things to do in Barcelona. And this video is an easy to follow one day itinerary that shows viewers how to get the most out of their stay. Right places uh, visited include Parkwell, the Sangrada Familia Church, La Rambla, the 
the park there and then actually the Ram La Rambla is the most popular street in Barcelona and a statue of Christopher Columbus is there pointing to the new world all right now let's move on to the reading activities okay read the instruction of activity one and read the comments as well there is no right and wrong answers but you must decide on the most likely speaker parents or teens so uh, if let's say the comments meet by parents, you should indicate with B. If made by T, so you should indicate with T. And then justify your answers. Alright, the first comment is it is so embarrassing being with them on the beach. They talk too loudly and want to make friends with total strangers. Number two, same story every summer. They sit around all day complaining that there is nothing to do. It drives me absolutely crazy. Number three, I wish I could go away on my own, but if I suggested it, it would crush them. They honestly think I love our family holidays. Number four, what is wrong with them? When we visit famous sites, they are so grumpy and just want to rush through everything. So you can identify on your own and later share your answers with your teachers. Right, the next question would be, okay, describe what is your ideal family holiday and what is your ideal holiday with friends. Share your answers with your friends. Here comes your okay. This is the reading practice for you. Top 14 holiday break this summer. Unit 9 Reading. Top 14 holiday breaks this summer. A. Surf Dudes of Devon. Want to surf like the dudes in California? Then try out the Golden Coast Holiday Village in Devon, England. They have just installed a wave surfer surfing simulator. You can surf or boogie board all day at Golden Coast, even if the sea is calm as the simulator creates the kind of waves you would experience at a beach. If you've never tried it before, don't worry. With an adjustable speed, the wave surfer is safe and easy for beginners to take their first steps on a board. Qualified instructors are on hand to teach you riding techniques. Surfboards, boogie boards and wetsuits are provided. Cost from £499 per week for a family of four in a two-bedroomed caravan. Wave surfer sessions cost £20, including equipment and tuition. B. Body Sorbing The teen club in Camping La Croix du Vieux Pont offers body sorbing. You may have seen body zorbing on TV. It's that crazy activity where you crash into other players inside huge cushioned balls. For the less adventurous but more creative types, there are movie making classes. Also, there are twice weekly bus trips to Disneyland Paris. Located on a lake an hour from Paris in France's Berny Riviere, the site has all the comforts of a hotel and the perks of an outdoor holiday. Cost? Seven nights in a mobile home and ferry between Dover and Calais costs from £980 for up to six. Price includes teen clubs and activities. Nearest airport, Beauvais. Nearest ferry port, Calais. 
C. YHA Summer Camps The Youth Hostel Association's camps ensure teens don't get bored in the holidays. A range of camps are available, all of which offer awesome activities and give teens an opportunity to face new challenges and learn new skills. Go extreme! Paintballing, quad biking, and even a day trip to Alton Towers theme park for adrenaline junkies. 12 to 16, 375 pounds. Action adventure. Could you be the next Bear Grylls? Test your survival skills in the wilderness. 10 to 16, 365 pounds. Performing arts. Were you born to be a star? Discover your inner celebrity. 10 to 17, 335 pounds. Future leader. Could you run the country? Develop the skills you need to be a leader. 17 to 19, 365 pounds. Location across the UK. Length, five nights. Prices include full board, snacks, excursions, equipment. D. Teen Rangers Alp Due. Experience action to the max at Alp Due, a ski resort in the central French Alps. During the summer months, the resort is perfect for canoeing, cycling and glacier safaris. These high adrenaline pursuits will keep even the most demanding teens happy. As a bonus, watch the riders in the well-known annual Tour de France race as they cycle through the town. The Teen Rangers program for ages 12 to 15 offers three days of high energy outdoor activities plus two evenings out for pizza, ice skating and 10 pin bowling. Cost? £199 for one week with full board from July the 23rd, staying in a traditional chalet. The Teen Rangers program costs £199 per person extra. Okay, that's all about the four top ten holidays break this summer among teenagers. Okay, before you do the exercise, let's have a look first at the download box there. Okay, when the text for the multiple matching tasks are about products or services, you may be asked questions about prices and etc. For such questions, there is no need to read the whole text, just scan and go directly to the information. Okay. So, when text for multiple matching tasks are about products, services such as leisure, leisure activities and holidays, okay, you may need to answer questions about process, dates and etc. So, you should go straight to the information without reading the whole text. Okay, just a, just a little guideline here. Okay. Often this information is in the middle or last section of the text. Okay, next one. Okay, this is the reading exercise that you have to do. Read the text again to find the following information. Which paragraph mention all about these things? So there are 10 questions there. You have to identify whether the text A, B, C or D. Okay. Next one, number five. <coughs> okay, you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of these words. Okay. You must write the words in the orange box in the correct form. Right. Don't forget to read the words in the orange book and the sentences and please check the meaning of words you do not understand. You are allowed to use any dictionaries or digital resources if necessary. 
for this activity. Uh, so we have the word adjust, adventure, demand, survive, to, and walk. Okay, how to change the form of these words? Let's look at the first example. Okay, the hikers forgot to take a map and ended up getting lost in the... Okay, the correct answer is wilderness. So, it's taken from the word wild that. So, wild maksud dia liar. Means wild. Wilderness here means hutan rimba. So, in other way, uh, you can also look for the words in the text on how you are going to change it into the correct form. You can find all these words are actually taken from those four texts. So, question number two. I prefer to stay in hotels but I have been camping. Okay, the correct answer is twice. So, the word two is there. Two means dua. Okay. Meanwhile, twice means dua kali. So, the rest of the uh, sentences you have to do on your own and please check your answers later with your English teachers. Alright, here is another uh, simple exercise for you to enrich your vocabulary, especially for this topic. You may somehow use of these uh, words later in your essay. So, you have to be familiar with all these words. You may need to use it somewhere for your speaking or for your writing tasks. Complete the different kinds of holiday activities. Write a vowel, A, E, I, O, U on each line. So, the gaps here are meant for A, E, I, O, U only. This is not a difficult task, I bet, so you can simply complete it within a few seconds. Okay, next vocabulary for you is... Okay, number two, read the instruction of activity two, which is circle the correct words to complete the compound noun. Okay, so now what is a compound noun? Apa maksud compound noun? Okay, compound noun is actually a single noun made up of two nouns. Maksudnya, dua-dua perkataan ni adalah kata nama yang digabungkan dan menjadi satu kata nama yang baru. Okay, so read the words and check the meaning of the words that you do not understand using your dictionaries or digital resources and circle the correct words to complete this compound noun. Okay, example, is it a five-star hotel or a package hotel? Which one that you think you are familiar with? Okay, for activity number three, you have to complete the sentences with the compound nouns from activity number two. So, it means that you have to get all the answers for exercise two correct before you can do or you can complete activity number three. Okay. So, example, I give you the example. Okay. Number one, mom and dad are on a shot in London. They will be away for two nights. So, the suitable compound noun there is... Okay, city break. What is city break? Means that they are the, uh, they are the rehat uh, just to get away for a short break during weekend. Usually, they tak pergi jauh. Kalau misalnya dia duduk dekat satu kawasan di area JB, 
mungkin dia pilih hotel pun di kawasan bandar JB. So in that sentence, mom and dad pergi bercuti sebentar dalam hotel and then they will be away for two nights only, dua malam or maybe one night. That what we call as city break. Okay, next exercise from the vocabulary page is Okay, you have to complete the sentences with these words. Okay, read sorry, uh, read the phrases in the orange box and the sentences, and then you can check the meaning of the words if you do not understand by using the dictionary again or digital resources. All the collocations are related to travel and holidays. So choose the best answers to complete those sentences. Collocation means perkataan-perkataan dalam box ini semuanya berkaitan dengan travel dan holiday. For example, okay, arrange accommodation. Okay, maksudnya dia aturkan kemudahan tempat tinggal dia. Confirm a flight. Okay, dia nak sahkan penerbangan dia. Next one, contact a, a travel agency. Berhubungan dengan travel agency dia. Exchange currency means apa tukaran mata wang asing. Meaning that if you want to go to other countries, you have to exchange your money to their money. So, it's called exchange currency. Hire a car, maybe. Menyewa kereta. Pack a suitcase. Reach our destination and renew a passport. Perbaharui passport. So, when you read number 1 until number 8, you have to complete those sentences with the correct collocations. Okay, the last activity for you to do is... Okay, here is a project that you must do. Okay, read the instruction of activity 6 and create a teen holiday. So, work with a partner, create your own teen holiday, include the following information. Alright, what are those information? Alright, theme of the camps or holiday program. Ages is suitable for on offer, accommodation, location, and price and what is included. Okay, so for this activity, you have to include all the six points there. Right? Uh, you just have to create maybe a brochure. that camp or a holiday program okay i think that's all for our reading skills i will see you again most probably with your writing skill later for this unit so thank you for joining have a great day ahead see ya